Good morning. Good morning, y'all. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. No matter how we feel in, no matter what we're going through, you know, God is still God, and God is still good. You know, just stand on his word. God is a God that he shall not lie. His promises stand. He, 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 um, his word doesn't come back void. He watched them to perform. So if he said it, it is so. It is so. Just stand. Stand on God's unchanging word. You know, and I'm praying that God comfort uh, all those who's grieving, who's grieving loss, you know, and, and that God give you a, a peace that surpasses all understanding. You know, and just remember that God is God, you know, and and. God is love. And so I came on here to just talk to y'all um, a little bit of, about words and the effect of words. You know, words, the things that we speak, the things that we speak, and they have the ability to help or to hurt, you know, um, to, to, to heal or to harm, to to build up or to tear down our words are powerful and i don't i don't think that we understand how powerful our words are you know what we speak is what it will be what we say is what it will be um our tongue is a small member of our body but it is powerful and it says that in the bible you know like it's small, but it, it it's powerful. And then it goes on to to kind of say like um. It it compares our tongue to a spark, a small spark, and it says in the Bible that a small spark can can burn down a, a whole forest. It can ruin a whole forest, a small spark, and that's the way our tongue. It's a small, a small spark. And it says in James uh, chapter three, that the tongue is a fire. It's a fire. Fire can destroy everything in sight. Everything that it comes across, it can destroy. And so can our tongue. So we have to be very careful, very mindful of what we speak, what we speak and what we say. Um, I just, I want to read. Uh, Proverbs 13 and 3, and this is coming out of the Amplified, my Amplified Bible. And it says, the one who guards his mouth, thinking before he speaks, protects his life. The one who opens his lips wide and chatters without thinking comes to ruin. The one who guards his mouth protects his life. The one who opens his lips wide comes to ruin. You know, I hear people say, I, I just, that's just how I am. I say what's on my mind, whatever come up, come out. You know, I don't hold back. That ain't good. That is not good. It's okay to hold back. It's okay to be quiet. It's okay to not speak on certain things. It's okay to shut up. Especially if what you're speaking is tearing somebody down. We can use words as weapons to destroy people, or we can use them as tools to build build a person up. It ain't good to just, I just say whatever, come up, come out. It says in his word that the one who opens his lips wide and chatters without thinking comes to ruin. You will be held account. You will have to give an account for every careless word that you speak. You have to be careful what you say. Everything ain't funny. You tearing somebody else down to try to make somebody laugh. That ain't cute. Them words will come right back around like a boomerang. You'll be in the same situation a person you don't gossip about in and don't even know how you got there. And it's because you don't spoke on it. 
shut your mouth and pray for people. Be careful what you speak over somebody's life. You have to be careful. Words have caused suicide. Words have caused people to commit suicide. Word has caused homicides. Words have caused depression, anxiety, stress. It has ruined relationships, friendships, marriages, words. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you spread. Be careful what you entertain. Be careful what you speak on. Be careful how you call people names. And that saying, sticks and stone may break my bones, but words will never hurt. Words hurt. If they're negative, if you tear somebody down, they always hurt. Words hurt. If you're being beaten by sticks and stones, they will break your bones. You know, they could break your bones. Sticks and stones may break my bones. They may break your bones. But your bones are me and back together. Words leave a scar. A scar that's always oozing. You know, I hear people say, well, I apologize. I don't know what else to do. I apologize. Because that person still may be acting a way towards you. Just because you apologize doesn't make the scar go away. It's still there. Not saying don't apologize. Apologize. But you have to be considerate and, 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 and mindful. Like, wait a minute. I, I did say this. And I don't know how deep it could. So then you begin to pray that God heal that person. Even with you, if it's you. Lord, heal me. I don't want, I, I, I don't want to keep feeling this way. Heal my heart. And back to the sticks and stones, it, it may break our bones. It, it hurt us physically. But words, they can hurt us mentally, spiritually, emotionally. And, and even that could cause us to become, to, to, to hurt ourselves physically. Words cut deep. Physical hurt heals. The bruises are healed. The bones are men. But that spiritual hurt, that, that emotional hurt, that mental hurt is something that, that can't be seen. It can't be seen. And some people carry that hurt for years and years and years and decades. Some people are still hurt over something somebody done said to them 30 years ago. Something they mama said to them when they was a child. They still carrying that. I remember she said that. 
That's just how powerful words are. But you got to pray and ask God, ask the Holy Spirit to heal that hurt. You walk around carrying something that happened years ago. Let it go. And I know it's easier said than done sometimes. But if you pray and you go to God with a sincere heart and ask him to heal your heart, he will do it. He will do it. Get up, I'm doing a video, girl. <laughs> uh, but he will do it. We have to have self control. Self-control is a, a is a fruit of the spirit. You got to be able to control what you say, what you speak. You can't master self-control if you can't even control the words that are coming out of your mouth. You can't even control what you say. And it ain't always about what you say, it's how you say it. Two people can two people can say the same thing, but you'll receive it from one and not the other because of how it's said. Choose your words wisely. Choose your words wisely. I remember um growing up. We was little. We grew up in church in, in Mr. Bacon Church while I was church home. That's where we went to church at, Wilkes Memorial. And after every service, and we used to go all the time, even you know, during the week, all the time. And after every service, we would stand up and he would say, repeat after me. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength, my redeemer. I learned that scripture as a baby, like a little girl. He taught us that he instilled, and everybody that was there, he instilled that scripture in us because we would say it every, after every service. He would say, repeat after me, and we would repeat that scripture. And I didn't, I, I didn't realize that it even was a scripture until I got, uh, you know, up in age and began going back reading my Bible. I'm like, oh my God, it's so good. Thank God for Mr. Bacon, cause he was instilling, he instilled that script. I know it. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. The words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. Lord, let it be acceptable. O oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer. You want your words to be acceptable because you will be held accountable. We have to be careful. Another scripture um, that I like, and it's real simple, Psalms 141 and 3. Take control of what I say, O, o Lord, guard my lips. And there's something we can say daily, all day, because we talking all day, we speaking all day. Go back to Psalm 144, 141 and 3. Take control of what I say, O Lord. Guard my lips. Take control of what I say, O Lord. Guard my lips. Because you want your words to be a symbol in thy sight. In his sight. You don't want to. You don't want to say something that causes a person to go home and and, and fall into a, a depression. You don't want to tell somebody something and make them go and 
commit suicide? If anything, you want to build up. We can correct people and build them up all at the same time. You don't have to beat a person down when they're wrong. Beat them down. You don't have to do that. You can correct them and build them up. Look, you know you were wrong, but look, did, 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 check this. Now, you know you were wrong for that. But listen. So, um, and if it's, and if, if you one of the people that is like that, like just, I just say what I want to say, you know, that's just me and whatever come up, come out, read, uh, James three, James chapter three. And it's, it talks about controlling the tongue and allow the Holy spirit to control what you say. So guard my lips, Lord. I don't want to just say what I want to say. I don't want whatever come up to come out. And he'll do it. I don't want to call people those things that they are not. You speaking demonic things over people's lives. You gotta be careful. Calling godly women of God things that they are not. Be careful. So I just want to come on and and just just talk about words and how powerful they are. Yeah, we gotta be careful. Be careful what we say. Choose our words carefully. Think before we speak. And it's okay to be quiet. It's okay to hush. It's okay. Instead of speaking, pray about pray pray about it and pray for them. Well, I love y'all, and I hope y'all have a blessed day. I know y'all will. I know y'all will. Um, y'all be blessed, and I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>